What is up guys, Megas here, and today's video is a little different. I'm giving dating advice, romance advice. It's something I've never done before, but I think I have something to offer. So I'm gonna show you the perfect date. Your girl shopping, I just got her new shoes. Dunlop Sport Max Q5s, oh yeah. And then you gotta take her to a beautiful restaurant. And then right next door was a gas station. And you don't cheap out. I got her the best, highest octane gas available. And then you got to go dancing. We went to the most beautiful canyon. You'll see from this footage here. It was just, I mean, the view was amazing. The corners were amazing. Uh, and then it was just freshly paved with those brand new tires, just got them scrubbed in. So it was just the most perfect ride you could imagine. And so as we're riding along here, I was doing a little thinking about how much I am enjoying this California trip and where it's even got me thinking about wanting to move back down here. And you know, when I moved away, uh, I wanted to get away from people, but something I discovered was that the people have been so amazing this trip. And I, I've talked to, you know, different people that I've come across while we're down here saying, what's the difference? And one very wise woman said, well, hun, it's probably you. And I thought, you know what, you're right. We talk about that, don't we? How the universe mirrors back who we are, you know? And when I was younger, I was a little more angry and ornery and, uh, you know, now when, when I'm out, I just, I'm sending love and happy to see people and there's a smile on my face and it's reflected back to me. And, you know, when I was getting Yennefer's tires, I was in the shop there for a couple hours, talked to some really neat guys. One guy waiting for his bike, he actually uh, was about my age and he, on the weekends, he plays old punk rock music at some of the local uh, little establishments, you know, and I thought, oh, how cool is that? And, and then I was talking to the owner of the shop and I was telling him about how nice the people have been since I've been here. And he, he thinks it has a lot to do with COVID. You know, people realize life is short. You don't how, know how much time you have and what's really important. And he said he's noticed a difference with people here in Orange County, that people are just kinder, more friendly, smile on their face, happy to be alive, happy to be out of the house, happy to see other people, you know? And I, I think it's a little spiritual. You know, as a matter of fact, both of the people I was talking to about this, they both kind of had a little spiritual bent to it, you know? It's, uh, there's, there's more to this life. So that's been on my mind. I've been having so much fun, guys. Uh, just, I mean, book shopping every day, riding Yennefer every day, going to the beach. Of course, I showed you some of my favorite little spots to sit and read and just contemplate. And I don't get a whole lot of reading done because I can't stop looking at the beautiful view and talking to the nice people. You know, I just kind of thinking about how great this trip has been. Some of the sights we've seen, we went to the cave where we shot the picture for Steel Pulls of the Mind. Uh, we went to Pirate's Cave, which was so cool. I've been golfing, just friends and family, just so beautiful. Absolutely loving it. Ah, oh, look at this day. Look at this ride, just perfect curves. It's kind of meditative. So I've also been thinking about book club. You guys crack me up. You've read way ahead of me uh, and I love it. Even Catherine was saying, don't hate me, but I couldn't help myself. No, I am just like you are. And uh, so I think what we'll do with this, instead of trying to cover every chapter, let's just all of us just enjoy, finish reading the book at our own pace. And then in a little while, we'll just make a video and, and discuss the whole book. And I'll try to get some more good footage of the beach and some of my favorite reading spots. And we can all share our favorite parts of the book, but um, I'm at chapter 10, and I, you guys are, I know, double that, uh, but I, I'm really loving it, you know, and it is taking me a little longer to read. 
because I'm on vacation. And like I said, I can't stop looking around at the view. And and uh, so, but I, I tell you, you know, books to me are photo albums. And I tell you, when I see Legends and Lattes on my shelf when I'm home, I will remember this beautiful vacation, the beautiful places I stopped and read my book sitting on my bench and the salt air and the sound of the waves and the blue skies and palm trees and oh just so beautiful and that's just one of the things I love about books I love stories I love the adventure that we make when we go and read it somewhere special I love book shopping right hunting for that next good book you know, I think about how many books I go through. You know, sometimes I'll read 20 books till I get that one that's just so good. And, you know, Legends and Lattes, it's just, it seems for, to be the perfect read for me at this time. Speaking of that, what do you guys think for our next book for Book Club? Do you guys have any recommendations? Maybe we could start voting on that and thinking about that now. So on this ride here, I just passed a police officer and wasn't sure because if I'm supposed to wave at him, as bikes pass each other, we always do a little wave. And sure enough, he waved and I thought that was pretty cool. It's a really cool bike scene down here. Everyone's very friendly, very welcoming. Oh, well, look at this day, guys. Is that beautiful? You know, it got me thinking about doing this like date with Yennefer. Uh, friends and family are all off working and doing their thing. So I had some time to myself. So I was actually out for a walk and there was a little placard and it said, Dana Point Harbor, home of romance. And a guy actually walked up to me and said, do you know what that means? Why this is called that? And I said, sir, I absolutely do not. I am single, have <laughs> been single. And uh, then I started thinking about Yennefer, you know, uh, and I thought, I'm going to go have a date. All right, guys, Magus and Yennefer signing off for now. If you enjoyed this, say hi in the comments and know I love, love, love you. <laughs>